Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm Denise Juno, Seattle Public Schools Superintendent. When I was a young girl growing up on the Blackfeet Indian Reservation in Montana, I would never have dreamed my path would lead to Seattle Public Schools. My story takes me from Head Start to Harvard. I've had the opportunity to lead public education for the state of Montana. And I was the first American Indian woman elected to a statewide executive office anywhere in the country. I'm also a proud product of public education. It was my community and my education in public schools that set me up to take advantage of opportunities that have come my way. And I've learned a lot along my journey. As you take this next big step, here are some tips for the road. Breaking news, adults don't have it all figured out. We just act like we do. So embrace uncertainty and know that learning never ends. It's okay to fail. In fact, it's better than okay. It is necessary to create new and innovative solutions. And that's something we really need right now as a nation and global community. And if you have a good idea, act on it. Don't wait. Trust yourself. The world needs your brilliance. You are such a special class of young people because you have already proven that you can roll with the punches, that you can thrive even in the middle of a global pandemic. You have demonstrated that you have the will and skill to get through whatever life throws at you. You are ready and you are already leading by showing up and advocating for change, supporting each other and doing it with courage and bravery. You have earned this celebration of all of your hard work. I urge you now to take your education and walk through the doors of opportunity as they open to you. Believe in yourself and believe that no dream is out of reach. Make your voice heard and take leadership roles wherever you find yourself. The world needs your voice, your skills, your knowledge, and your inspiring stories of success. Graduates, as you receive your diploma, know that all of your fans, your family, friends, and community are also very proud of what you've accomplished. When you succeed, each and every one of us benefits. I congratulate you, class of 2020. I can't wait to see what you do next. Welcome to Interagency Academy Class of 2020 graduation.
faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. Hi, my name is Demarcus Bell. I am a part of Class of 2020, and I would like to recite the Man Up Pledge. I stay woke. I am a conscious brother. We are conscious brothers. I expose myself to African-American images that educate me and motivate me to be my greatest self. I will support and engage in media that exhibits the brilliance of African-American people. I am encouraged and empowered to create media that illustrates the richness of my culture. I understand that my culture influences the entire planet. I stay woke. I am much more than what is usually depicted of me. I will not let tell my vision tell my vision. I do not let film or music define who I am. I define who I am. With the support of my brothers, community, and who I am will be beneficial to myself, family, and the world. I stay woke. We stay woke. I'm a conscious brother. We are conscious brothers, Ashe. And now I would like to recite the history of Juneteenth. Juneteenth is the oldest national, nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States. Dating back to 1865, it was on June 19th that the Union soldiers led by Major General Gordon Granger okay, landed at Galveston, Texas with news that the war had, been, had ended and that the enslaved were now free. Note that this was two and a half years after President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation, which had become officially January 1st, 1863. The Emancipation Proclamation had little impact on the Texans due to the minimal number of Union troops to enforce of the new executive order. However, with the surrender of General Lee in April of 1865 and the arrival of General Granger's regiment, the forces were finally strong enough to influence and overcome the resistance. Me being a black man, it was not easy. Growing up, I had to deal with people calling me names, calling me out of my name, saying I won't make it, say I wouldn't be who I, where I am today. But me, I see myself as a successful black man. I see my skin as something to be very proud of and something that other kids should be proud of too. Thank you. Greetings, wonderful students of interagency. We see you, we love you, and we're very proud of you. In the midst of a pandemic and COVID crisis, you didn't succumb to the situations around you, but rather you overcame it. And that's what we want to see in the rest of your life. Continue to be overcomers, be prosperous, and be successful. Congratulations. Interagency class of 2020, I just wanted to let you know that you inspire me. I am so proud that you are a part of Seattle Public Schools and you're on your way to your future. Your resilience has been amazing. And so I hope that you continue to see your greatness and know that that is gonna help make change in the world. We need people that are resilient, that are gonna fight for everything that we need. Thank you, and I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Class of 2020, turn up and make some noise! We're, we're super excited that you all have made it thus far. We want you to know three chief things. Number one, in all things you do, you must be intentional. You must, if you are choosing to be intentional, that means that you will also be attentive to the small details. But the key to this formula is to not be attached to the outcome. Do not wait around for others to do for you what you can do for yourself. As a group, as a class of 2020, we're looking forward for you to lead change in the world. Thank you and be your best self.
Hello interagency graduates. Congratulations, you made it. Today is a special day, and while we are not together in person, we are together in spirit. This may not be the graduation that you've been dreaming of, but it is special nonetheless. It's unique, full of accomplishment and purpose. I feel confident when I say no one is going to forget the class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. You overcame so much to be here today. You knew that this was important and you made it happen. Know that everyone at Interagency loves you. I love you. We believe in you and we know what you're capable of when you put your mind to something. You are strong and determined. We are here for you. Right now, across our country, people are coming together to rise against the systemic racism that has allowed the oppression and murder of black people. Pay attention. Do not settle for weak solutions, gray wolves. Don't settle for business as usual. We need you. You are important and you matter. You are graduating into an uncertain world that is looking for a way forward and you are that way forward. You are our leaders. Trust yourselves. You know what is right. Do not tolerate injustice in any form. Right now, the world is listening to you. Each of you has something unique and special to offer the world. And the world needs your gifts right now more than ever. We need your brilliance, your creativity, and your ingenuity. You have so much to offer. Don't hold back. This graduation, while it may feel like an ending, is really a beginning upon which you'll build your life, continue to learn, work, and grow. Look around you right now. Who's there? Say thank you to them. Tell them what they mean to you. Love is important. It's what we work for, learn for, and live for. Make sure you tell people what they mean to you. You are amazing and your future is bright. Congratulations. Uh, so much for class of 2020, but in all seriousness, <laughs> I'm glad to be here. It's been a long way coming, you know. Been here all four years of my life, or all four years of high school. And I must say, they've the, been the best years of my life, you know. Been kicking it with teachers, been graduating, you know, just doing my thing. So I want to thank uh, my mom, Asia, <laughs> and my brother, Raymond, and just the whole interagency as a collective just being there for us. I'm Maddie Wyke, graduating class of 2020 from Beacon Academy Interagency. Graduation means a lot of things to me this year. It means showing gratitude to the teachers that have at some points practically carried me on their backs to get me here. I'm talking to you, Flor Del Rio and Rhonda. <laughs> it means saying thank you to all the moms and dads that stepped up and worried about my class schedules and homework. It means saying congratulations to my peers, because it wasn't easy. It means saying what's up to Miss Margaret. She's 65 and doesn't look a day over 38. Have fun in Mexico. You deserve it, and thank you for everything. Overall, it means saying goodbye to many amazing memories and people, but also saying hello to the amazing opportunities of the future. As Lil Wayne once put it, I know what they don't want to tell you. Just hope you're heaven sent and you're hell proof. I'll walk up in the world and I'll cut the lights out, and confidence is a stain you can't wipe off. Thank you. Hi, my name is James Salazar Sanchez. I just wanted to say that graduating as a Hispanic male in America is something that I'm very proud of. It means a lot to me because my parents came from nothing. They work day and night for me and my sister to have a good future. And education is important because knowledge is power and a very underrated power at that that everyone I think should have. Thank you to all my teachers and school staff for all the support and patience. I know it wasn't easy. I want to leave you guys with this. To the younger generation, always strive for more in life. No matter what it is you want, always fight for what you believe in. Thank you. No one truly knows your intentions if you didn't succeed. Therefore, no one can tell you what you are capable of. If life is about, life is all about perception, yet most people are only worried about what they're perceived as. If no one can tell you what you are capable of, how could they begin to fathom what you are? One thing is people tend to forget is that most relationships are only surface level, meaning you only know what they want you to know when it pertains to that situation. Most people have so much potential but have been reprogrammed to see it as a sort of flaw and second guess every opportunity worthwhile. So if you, 
So if you might not even know your true worth, I must ask you again, how can someone tell you what you are capable of? Graduation isn't the end of a tough journey. It is the beginning of a beautiful one. Start each day believing in yourself and watch the magic happen. Before you act, listen. Before you react, think. Before you criticize, wait. And before you quit, try. Congratulations on graduating 2020. Good afternoon. We would like to take this moment to honor the lives of current and former students who are no longer with us. Please join me in a moment of silence. Kateno Gormaz. William Freetag. Omar Ali. Michael Williams. Dupree Pickett. Sean Furr and James Richardson. Muna Abdi. Abbas Abdurrahman. Laban Abidyal. Isabella Akuna, Abdifata Ahmed, Julian Alderson, Kervin Alexander, Fuad Ali, Mose Ali, Zania Allen, Diamond Alvarez. Junior Alvarez, Victor Arce Oregel, Jamila Armstead, Junior Asgetum, James Askew, Jaleel Atkins, Daniel Ayers, Alyssa Barnett. Levi Baumgart, Demarcus Bell, Marcasia Bell, Andrew Berry, Enrique Bermudez, Jose Bathia, Zoe Blackett, Lilith Blacktop, Kamaya Bland, Omar Borski, Alonzo Boyles, Sean Broderick, Kadan Brown, Malachi Brown, Sean Brown, Deshaun Brown Jr. Hollis Burgess, Cartier Bus, Luis Campuzano, Georgian Carpio, Carlos Castaneda, Fernando Castro Mendoza, Madeline Chapman, Tiona Cherry. Jerry Coleman, Leslie K. Collado, Yaret Corona, Leif Crawford, Juan Cruz Reyes, Diana Davis, Morgan Davis, 
Ellis Delgado Wright. Indalu Desi. Darvin Duffield. Muhammad Dutt. Jacques Ray Edwards. Kobe Ellaby. Keon Ellis Scott. Wyndon Everybody Talks About. Abdi Shakur Farah. Shalay French. Annie Froelich. Jimena Galindo Lopez. Galilea Gallardo Martinez. Alessandra Gilbertson. Maria Gonzalez. Ayla Gonzalez Mize. BJ Green. Ian Gustafson. Max Hades. Lucas Hagen. Kira Hamelian. Cece Harrison. Tony Hart. Rashad Hebert. Deonovan Henry. Carlos Hernandez. Cesar Hernandez Sayle. Jaquil Hotstrasser. Samuel Holman. Lanika Holmes. Murphy Hotchkiss. Khalil Howard. Brittany Hall. Antonio Inda. Mohammed Isaac. Bishop Jackson. Tierra Jenkins. Uciel Jimenez. Christian Jonas. Nate Jones. Malik Jones. Silas Jones. Nicholas Jordan. Camp Tivan Kio Padipsi. William Lackey. Tyree Lee. Kai Light. Marcel Long. Jamela Lynn. Taj Herrett McDonald. Monique Mang. Tion Manning. Mac Martinez. Ezra Martin McGill. Tajari Macy. Megan McCracken. Christopher Mendoza Mayoral. Braden Mitchell. Jabril Mohammed Noor. Vin Nguyen. Molina Noel. Addy Norgren. Alex Nunez. George Olabar. Omar Omar. Kamija O'Neill. Khalil Ortiz. Israel Ortiz. Alexis Ortiz Flores. Jason Otto. Yesenia Paez Juarez. Buam Pau. Luis Pulasios. Tajane Palmer. Caleb Parrish. Keontre Paris. Khalil Perryman. Ishmael Pigman. David Pinto. Annabelle Quinones. Jayla Ramirez. 
Avery Reed. Michaela Reese. Jose Reyes. DeSavion Rigney. Jesse Rivas. Trenton Rourke. Michael Roberts. James Salazar Sanchez. Eos Salem. Sergio Salgado Venata. Jelani Salim. Adalberto Sanchez. Valeria Sanchez Palestina. Alexis Sanchez Sanchez. Tamia Satterwhite. Aaliyah Scott. Alashana Smith. Ella Smith. Rodney Smith. Natalie Soldad. Cyrus Stylus. Josh Stoolfire. Vincent Tabron. Ajiana Taylor. Darlish Thatch. Nathan Thieler. Jaleel Thomas. Patrick Thomas. Kimani Thompson Jones. Henry Saad. Jacob Villarreal. Martha Walls. Destiny Wartell. DeAndre Washington. Ajene Washington. Stephanie Wernex. Jules Wesson. Almala White. Maddie Wyatt. Kasia Williams Harris. Trayvon Williams Haywood. Jamari Williams. Michael Williams. Tim Williams. Michael Wilson. Nia Wilson. Michaelia Woods. Isaiah Woods. Elliot Zerba. We love you, Gray Wolves. We, we believe in you, Gray Wolves. Congratulations, Gray Wolves. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. Thank you for coming to our graduation. Congratulations, class of 2020. On behalf of all seven of the school board directors and with the authority vested in me as president of the Seattle School Board, I accept the students before me as 2020 graduates of Interagency Academy. Congratulations. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished. Interagency Academy, you have done it. You've made it to the end of your high school journey. And while this graduation was not the one that you expected, and it is certainly not the one that you deserve, we are so incredibly proud of each and every one of your accomplishments. Go forth into this world and do good work because we need you now more than ever. And remember, justice for George and Black Lives Matter.